hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be sharing a recipe for this green chili all-purpose sauce i use this sauce for everything i use it with fried yam i mix it with my noodles to give it that extra oomph and extra spice i eat it with small chops spring rolls samosa it goes well with almost everything and it's really really easy to make you're going to need the following you're going to need some green peppers you're going to need some green habaneros you can use as many as you want this is where the spice comes from so use as many as you want you need some garlic some ginger some onions some spring onions you need some oil and then the spices there are two of my favorite spices here one is clove and one is star anise i really love this too they give that earthy flavor to your foods I'm also using some stock cubes, some thyme and some salt. So first I'm going to line a baking sheet with parchment paper because I'm going to roast the green peppers and the onions. So you want to cut up your green peppers, take out the seeds, clean them properly. The peppers we get in Nigeria usually have a lot of funny things in them. I found maggots and all types of things growing in my pepper so, so i tend to deseed them and clean them properly before i use them so i'm going to cut them all into small pieces and put them in the baking tray for roasting Next, I'm going to cut the onions into small pieces also. I'm only roasting the green peppers and the onions. I'm going to put this in the oven at 180 degrees for 35 minutes. Next, I'm going to fry my aromatics. I've smashed my garlic a bit so that when I put it in the oil, it will infuse the oil, which is what I need in this next step. So I've put some oil in the frying pan and I've added my garlic, my ginger and the spring onions. I'm doing this over medium heat. I'm just going to fry this a little bit. These aromatics are going to release their flavors and infuse the oil, which is what I really, really want. I don't just want to blend them up straight away. I want the oil to be infused so that all through the sauce and through the oil, you get the flavors. You just need to do this for about five minutes over medium heat. Now my peppers and onions are ready, I'm just going to leave them to cool. When they're cool, I'm transferring them to a blender to blend. So I have my, my green peppers, onions, my habanero and my cooled aromatics. So the oil, the spring onions, the garlic and the ginger, everything goes into the blender. Yes, with the oil. I'm only going to blend it roughly. And then next i'm going to pour it into a frying pan i don't need any more oil because i poured the oil from frying the aromatics into the blender so this mixture already has the oil and it has enough oil however the oil helps the sauce keep so you can add a little more oil just to keep the sauce if you want next i've added my seasoning so the star anise the cloves the thyme the stock cubes and the salt and i'm just going to let this cook over medium heat for about 15 to 20 minutes until the oils start to come to the top. When the oils come to the top, you know it's almost ready. This smells really, really, really delicious. I love this sauce so much. I make it at least once every two weeks because I eat it that often. It goes well with almost everything, to be honest.
my sauce is now ready and I've let it cool. I usually decant it into a jar like this so that I can store it in the fridge. It will keep for about five days to a week in the fridge. Make sure that you use a clean spoon to take out what you need all the time. Don't use a spoon that you started to use to eat because that can affect the life of the sauce. as you want in it depending on the spice level you want adjust the stock cubes and the salt and the thyme to your taste you can add some curry powder if you want you can add some white pepper also if you want the sauce is really versatile and you can add your own spin to it you can eat it with all kinds of things i've had it with rice before and i've also had it with plantain if this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Leave me your questions and your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think when you try out the sauce and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and bye.